the day he became a Freemason. The man could hardly contain his excitement as he approached the grand entrance of the Freemason's Lodge. The anticipation had been building up inside him for weeks, ever since he received the news that he was to be initiated as a Master Mason. The honor bestowed upon him was beyond words, and he felt a mixture of pride and humility. As he stepped through the ornate doors, he was greeted warmly by his fellow brethren, all of whom were already Master Masons. The sense of camaraderie and brotherhood was palpable, and he felt an immediate connection with these like-minded individuals who shared the same values and principles. Inside the lodge room, adorned with symbolic furnishings and symbols of ancient wisdom, his heart swelled with awe and wonder. He knew that this moment marked the beginning of a new chapter in his life, one filled with timeless knowledge, profound teachings, and the opportunity to contribute positively to the world around him. As the initiation ceremony commenced, his emotions fluctuated between nervousness and eagerness. The solemnity of the ritual and the profound words spoken during the ceremony resonated deeply within him. He felt a sense of spiritual awakening, as if he was embarking on a sacred journey, guided by the wisdom of countless generations of Freemasons before him. When the ceremony reached its pinnacle, and he was declared a Master Mason, a surge of pride and joy washed over him. It was a moment of profound significance, a milestone that he would cherish for the rest of his life. The apron placed on him symbolized the virtue and purity he aspired to uphold, and the handshake he exchanged with his brethren represented the unbreakable bond they now shared. After the ceremony, he was warmly congratulated by his new brothers, who welcomed him into the fraternity with open arms. He felt a profound sense of belonging, knowing that he was now a part of an ancient and honorable tradition that had withstood the test of time. In the days and weeks that followed, he eagerly delved into the teachings of Freemasonry, attending meetings and studying the rituals and symbols. Each new lesson enriched his understanding of the world and himself, and he found great solace in the principles of brotherly love, charity, and moral integrity that Freemasonry espoused. He was excited about the journey that lay ahead as a Master Mason. He knew that he had joined a worldwide network of men who were dedicated to self-improvement, charity, and making a positive impact on their communities. The sense of purpose and fulfillment he experienced was unparalleled, and he looked forward to sharing this journey with his fellow brethren. As he reflected on his initiation night, he felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude and enthusiasm. Being a Master Mason was more than just a title. It was a profound commitment to living a meaningful and virtuous life. And he was ready to embrace this path with an open heart and an unwavering sense of excitement for the journey that lay ahead. His dedication to Freemasonry grew stronger with each passing day. He attended regular lodge meetings, where he engaged in thoughtful discussions with his brethren, delving deeper into the symbolic teachings of the craft. The bonds he formed with his fellow Masons extended beyond the lodge room. As a master Mason, he took his commitment to charity seriously. He actively participated in various community projects organized by the lodge, seeking opportunities to make a positive impact on others. Whether it was volunteering at local shelters, supporting educational initiatives, or raising funds for those in need, he found immense fulfillment in embodying the Masonic principles of compassion and benevolence. The wisdom and philosophy of Freemasonry continued to resonate with John on a personal level. The journey of self-improvement was not without its challenges, but he embraced them wholeheartedly. He sought to apply the principles of Freemasonry in his daily life, striving to become a better husband, father, and friend. The lodge meetings became a cherished time for him. He found solace in the company of his brothers, sharing their experiences, knowledge, and insights. The wisdom passed down through generations of Masons inspired him to seek truth, be just, and always act with integrity. The Masonic teachings offered guidance on living a purposeful life, balancing worldly pursuits with the pursuit of spiritual growth. Through his involvement in the fraternity, he expanded his social circle, connecting with men from diverse backgrounds and walks of life. Freemasonry's emphasis on equality and the common bond that united them transcended differences, fostering an atmosphere of respect and understanding among the brethren. As the years went by, he progressed through the ranks of Freemasonry, taking on leadership roles within the Lodge. He felt a sense of responsibility to guide and mentor younger Masons, just as he had been guided on his journey. The sense of continuity and tradition was something he deeply cherished. Outside of Freemasonry, 
He found that the lessons he learned had a positive ripple effect on his broader community. He became known for his kindness, integrity, and willingness to help others, and people admired his commitment to making the world a better place. His family also benefited from the positive changes he embraced, as the values of Freemasonry translated into a more harmonious and fulfilling family life. Through the years, his excitement and enthusiasm for Freemasonry did not wane, if anything, they intensified. Each Masonic ritual and meeting continued to hold a special place in his heart, reminding him of the timeless truths that the fraternity represented. As he stood among his brethren in the lodge room, wearing the Master Mason apron with a sense of honor and pride, he knew that his initiation night was just the beginning. The journey of a Master Mason was one of lifelong learning and growth, and he was eager to embrace every step along the way. In the broader scope of life, his experience as a master mason had transformed him into a more enlightened and compassionate individual. He found purpose in service, strength in brotherhood, and wisdom in the teachings of the craft. As he continued on the path of a Freemason, his excitement and devotion to masonry remained strong, making him an example of the positive impact that this fraternity had on his life. Freemasonry is not a religion. Freemasonry is not a cult. Freemasonry is a place that harvests the good of man. Freemasonry looks to expand on the teachings of the holy books. Freemasonry is a place where good men become better men. Interested in hearing more? Subscribe to the Old Fashioned Masonic Podcast. A podcast where real Freemasons talk about Freemasonry while drinking an old-fashioned. Subscribe and grab an old-fashioned cocktail for the next episode.